Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sahara Coleman. Today's video is going to be a Kim K Met Gala 2018 inspired look. I always think her eye look, they make her eyes look so sexy and seductive. I hope you guys enjoy. Please keep watching and let's get started. So to begin this look, I'm going to start off by putting my hair in that half up, half down ponytail look that she had. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> So now I'm going to move on to brows and for brows I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills definer brow pencil wait brow definer in the shade medium brown. I'm going to be using more high end products in this video because of course Kim always uses a lot of expensive products so I thought why not it's a look for the Met Gala. To clean up my brows and prime my eyelids, I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium. So I already blended it out. Now I'm going to go in with my Beauty Bakery Setting Flower Powder in the shade Yellow and set my eyelids so they don't crease. I didn't feel like she had too much going on in the crease, so I'm going to use a contour slash bronzer and it's from the Lancome blush subtle palette Pesh Savvy and I'm gonna take that bronzer shade and apply it throughout the crease buffing it out next I'm going in with this Lancome magic voyage palette is a travel size palette and I'm going to go in with that deeper bronze not bronze that deeper brown shade and apply that in the crease as well now I'm going into the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place and I'm gonna take the shade Zuri and apply that in the inner part of my lid, keeping it in that inner part and just blending it over the lid. Now I'm just going back in with the brush to kind of blend it in a little bit. Next I'm gonna take this NYC liquid liner and line my um, lash line but not create a wing. I'm going to use the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner to line my waterline. I'm skipping all around, but I'll eventually go back to the eyes. I'm going to be using a Pro Fusion Sultry Palette and taking that black shade Nightlife. And I mean, this is a black shade like the blackest most pigmented shade I've ever used. <laughs> I'm going to be using that on an angled brush and applying it to the liner and what I'm going to do is kind of tap it on the liner and then kind of smoke it out and wing it out to give it that smoky look. You guys will see in the video. <laughs> and I am just kind of gently building up the black shade on the lid as well about halfway maybe a little bit less than halfway on the lid. Now I'm going to go in with a flat definer brush and tap the black eyeshadow on the lower lash line on top of that liner. I'm 
I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner. It has a more short tip to it, which will help me apply this a little bit better. And I'm gonna take the um, liquid liner and kind of make a point and connect the top lash part to the bottom one. And it would probably be a little bit more easier to do this step with a gel liner, but I don't have that at the moment, so liquid liner it is. Moving on to the face, I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer to prime my face. Next, I'm going to be using a Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 330. The big one, I finished it, and I wasn't going to use this foundation anymore because it's too matte, and it's very, very drying on my skin and hard to blend out, which you guys will see. But I love the finish of it, and I think it photographs beautifully. Can't say that for a lot of other foundations out there. <laughs> but I love this one. It's very beautiful, but it's just too dry, no matter how much moisturizer I use. I'm using a wet Sonia Kashuk sponge, uh, sponge, sponge to blend this out. I'm gonna use the Mario Badescu spray and spray it all over my face to help me even further blend this out because if you guys really can understand how hard it's blending out, I would literally drag it across my face if I could, but I'm not gonna do that, so. <laughs> Next, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills medium cream contour kit and taking that shade cinnamon i'm going to use that shade to give a more bronze look for the cheeks the chin the temples and the nose i'm going to blend it out with the shade with the same oh, i'm going to blend it out with the same sponge that i use to blend the foundation out with And I can't believe I'm doing this, but because I want an even more bronze look, I'm going to be blending that cream contour shade down my neck as well. And I can't believe I'm doing this. You guys know that I never blend my foundations or powders down my neck. I just cannot stand when it's down there. I mean, it's even closer to my clothes than it needs to be, but just doing it for this look. <laughs> Still going to be too toned out here. You know, one shade on the face, one shade on the neck, but... So I'm going to go back in with that cream contour kit and use the shade Banana to brighten underneath the eyes. We all know she loves a really bright under eye and I cannot believe I didn't use the Bit Eye Banana Powder in this video because I do have it but I forgot all about it. I mean when this picture that I'm about to pop up on a screen came out, everyone wanted to know which powder she was using and it was the Bit Eye Banana Powder. I'm pretty sure his sales skyrocketed after that picture came out. <laughs> So now I'm just going to use the Mario Badescu spray and spray it on my face to help me blend this out. With the cream products, it is a little bit more difficult to blend those out, but if you do have an oil, which I don't have at the moment, you can apply that into the cream and it'll help it blend it out better. I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder again, and I'm going to set under my eyes and my under my jawline, I mean not my jawline, but under my cheekbone to um, really clean it up under there and on my nose and my two head. <laughs> Next I'm going in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to take that shade tan and you have to be very careful with these contour powders because they're very pigmented so I'm going to start by tapping it on the areas that I want bronzed and then blending it in. Next, I'm going back into that Lancome blush palette and using that blush shade for blush. <laughs> it's like, how many times can you say it and explain it in one sentence? <laughs> so I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow and use that shade called Dripping a Gold because, of course, we know she was dripping in gold. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in with some Mario Badescu spray and spray that over my face first. Then I'm going to go in with my NYX Dewy Setting Spray to spray that after to give more of a dewy and glowy finish. Going back into that blush palette, I'm going to take that contour shade and with a pencil brush, I'm going to blend it out along my lower lash line under the black shade. 
Now this part is just an extra step that I just want to do and I'm kind of just extending the wing eyeshadow a little bit and connecting it from the top outer corner to the inner to the bottom outer corner just to make sure there's no space in between. I always like to do this step. So I'm going in with the Kiss Lashes and the Style Gala. Isn't this beautiful? Just perfect timing in a Style Gala, you know, Met Gala, Gala. <laughs> so I'm going to apply these on camera. I already um, glued them and let the glue dry for a little while and then I'm sticking them to my eyes. I'm using this Marc Jacobs Beauty Mascara and applying that to my lower lashes. Sometimes I'll use it on my top lashes after I applied falsies to really connect them and make sure you can't see the separation between my fake lashes and real lashes, but I just can't do it now, so just the bottom. Next I'm going in with the Brown L'Oreal Lip Infallible Lip Liner and lining my lips and blending it out so it's not as bold. Next I'm going to use Max Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy and apply that to my lips over the lip liner blending it in. So now for some added glossy gloss on top of this, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. And I didn't realize this was a plumping lip gloss that tingles and burns when you put it on, but it's fine. It's still beautiful. So I did apply a little bit too much, so I'm just blotting to get rid of a little bit. I'm going to go back in with that glow kit and use that shade Dripping in Gold again and apply that to my brow bone. I keep forgetting to apply the brow bone highlight or the inner corner highlight, but okay. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed. I really had so much fun recreating a celebs look, especially Kim K. Never recreated a look done by her before and she had some amazing ones, let's say. Let's, you know, give it up for Kim. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!